very much for the interview. Uh, could you please uh, inform us about the current station F-35 program? Sure, the F-35 program, while we've had challenges in prior years uh, on both the design complexity and the software, what we've seen is establish a new schedule approximately three years ago, and basically we've been on plan and on milestones to, to that time. Production is ramping up. We have 65 airplanes that are currently flying in six different basing locations throughout the United States. So we, we, we have production, uh, over 80 airplanes rolled out, and over 120 airplanes in the build, and as well as 235 airplanes on contract. So we're increasing the amount of flight tests, we're increasing the production, and now we have eight countries both the United States and seven international partners under contract to procure the F-35 and over 200 airplanes. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Well, how, what can you say about the delivery schedule, which is a big uh, question uh, for the Turkish side? In, in Turkey, later this year, in 2013, Turkey will decide on whether to procure airplanes that deliver in 2017. So we look forward to that decision. We're supporting both SSM, the Turkish Air Force, and, and the Ministry as they work through those challenges. Uh, and uh, Elom Ar uh, Aeronautics took the sound achievements in Turkey and tu Turkey has become one of uh, part of the major international clients of Lockheed Martin. So within this contest, uh, how do you assess the activities performed over the years? Well, we've had a long history with the Turkish uh, defense industries um, and Tur TAI in particular. So whether it's on the F-16, uh, where about 82% of the F-16s delivered uh, in Turkey were built were built here, um, or whether it's a C-130, which which again a long history with Lockheed Martin, and now with the F-35. So for the F-35 program, we've taken those technology, we, we've taken those relationships, and really advanced them to the next level. So we, we have large components like the center fuselage being built at TAI. We have a number of companies built building components on, on the airplane and opportunities already under contract is $300 million before Turkey has procured a single air, airframe. And, and that opportunity or, or those numbers will rise before the first airplane is delivered in Turkey to almost a billion dollars. And over the life of the program to over $12 billion all the way out to 2039. So this is high technology, this is advanced comp composite manufacture, this is electronics, this is avionics. These are type of things that go into a stealth airplane that Turkish Aerospace Industries and the Turkish Defense Industry Will, will build for us. Uh, TAI, TAI is one of the uh, strongest uh, team player of uh, Lockheed Martin. How do you assess uh, its po their position in the program? Well, there's a long history with Lockheed Martin and TAI, and when you see your facili their facilities, you see the breadth of their capabilities uh, that are out there. And, and I think that's just an indication of the entire Turkish defense industry. And, and they're going to build a number of things, whether it's composite technology, the, the big center fuselage is over 400 of them, uh, as well as a number of other components that are they're going to going to advance F-35 for years and years to come. Um, I, I believe that, that TAI and all Turkish defense industries are very competitive and provide affordability to the airplane and the program. And they will continue to win work as we go forward. So the industrial benefits, the technology benefits for Turkey will continue to advance as they advance with the F-35 program. And uh, we know that uh, many Turkish companies involved in the program, so what can you say uh, all of them. Well, if I, if I could indulge you just for a moment, I'd, I'd rather show you if I could. And, and, and today we had some of those companies and what they did, did on the program. Whether it's TAI, like, like, like we had, had said earlier, with center fuselages and advanced composites. Fokker Elmer does wiring here in Turkey throughout the entire airplane in, in the complexity that you expect in a fifth generation airplane. And they do it here using the advanced workforce they have and the advanced engineering they have there. Avelisan will, will do... Uh, um, the, the integrated training center here in Turkey, they've been the chosen to provide that. Mikas is a sole source com compliance on, on, uh, on some of the uh, electronic warfare antennas and, and other items. And, and Asesas, uh, Selsan on, on avionics, both of them do, do fantastic work. Cali Aero ha has been a, a leader in some of the machining we've done and composites, and, and we see value for Cali Aero and what they've done, and now Cali Pratt and Whitney and what they've done with the airplane and, and machining components, and we expect that to advance more as we go forward. And then, of course, Alp, uh, Rocketson, and Tubatech Sage, uh, 
Um, Alp Aviation, I expect both Pratt & Whitney and Lockheed Martin to provide continual value, but really uh, Tubitech, uh, uh, Sage, and Rocketson are going to provide next generation weapons to continue to advance the F-35. So these are the, like, the standoff uh, munition, the SOM. Uh, it's going to fit in the F-35 weapons bay. It's going to provide high technology at an affordable price and advance the weapon system and continue to, to see what we saw on the F-16 where Turkish aircraft industries, TAI, but also the entire defense industries in Turkey continue to add to and, and increase the value and capabilities of the F-35 to all the allied partners in the region. Uh, recently it's known that the uh, F-35 program has suffered cost increase due to the uh, testing issues and changes in the design of the aircraft. Uh, could you please inform us about the recent status and your strategy to manage the cost increasing? Yes, and, and, and uh, I think we need to be very upfront that, that uh, prior to three years ago, we had design challenges, software challenges, where we were overly optimistic in our predictions on what it would take to build the airplane. Since then, we drew a new schedule, since three years from that, we've basically been hitting our milestones and delivering on time. So, and we're driving the price of the airplane down. So from the first year of production to the fifth year of production, we've reduced the cost by over 50%. And now we're signing contracts well below the estimates that are out there. Most recently on the fifth year of production, 13% below the U.S. government estimate. Both the, the U.S. government and Lockheed Martin expect that trend to continue, and we're devoting resources to, to can lower the price, making the airplane more affordable. What I can tell you now, through flight tests, through production, through cost control, the F-35 is a, a good vector. We understand there is still a significant amount of work to be done, but the confidence continues to increase, as you've seen both uh, in Norway with, with the commitment to their order. You've seen information out of the Netherlands that's pos uh, positive. Uh, we've seen indications just in the last week out of Australia on their commitment to, to the F-35. Uh, this is a program that's growing in, in terms of the confidence, growing in terms of, uh, of the, the production, and, and lowering the costs as we go forward. Uh, as uh, LM uh, Aeronautics, uh, do you have any future plans for Turkey, future interest areas in the coming programs? Well, we, we've, we're always having discussions with the Turkish defense industry and SSM. Um, we've been a long-term partner. We, we see ourselves being a long-term partner. Just take F-35 production. Um, TAI and, and the companies you see here are going to be producing parts on the F-35 program of record all the way out to 2039. So what, what I can tell you without getting into more detail is those discussions are always ongoing. Uh, we see a long-term and, uh, and great value um, that the relationship has meant to both of us, and, and we expect that relationship to continue for many, many years, to, to the you know the, well out to, into the future. Uh, thank you very much for the interview. Would you like to add some uh, read uh, message for our readers? Well, I, I think it's the the value of the F-35, and, and really it's a thanks to the Turkish defense industry and the foresight of not only those industries, but as SSM. Through their confidence, through their investment, through their personal uh, interaction on the program, that's how we're able to deliver value to not only Turkey, but all the partners on the F-35 program, as well as de deliver value in terms of all the work that's going into to these industries. And it really took that commitment and that vision, uh, which can't be underestimated, um, by, by those leaders who make that happen. Thank you very much. <laughs>